In this video, I will be reviewing the Danja Fetch Box Lever with a 9CR15 MOF core material. Hello guys, I'm Chef Panko and I used to work in a Japanese restaurant. Make sure to subscribe to know more about cooking and knives. Before we start with the review, I want to go over some disclosures. I bought this knife with my own money. No one sends them to me or paid me to use this knife or to make this video. If this video helps you decide, please give this video a thumbs up since that will help the channel a lot. Now with the disclosures away, let's start with the review of the Danja Vegetable Cleaver. The Danja Vegetable Cleaver comes with a hazy mirror finish. They also have added a sanding line to help food to stick less on the blade. If you look closely, they also have a slightly visible cladding line. The knife comes with an acrylic handle. The manufacturer Danja is making their knives with three different steel types. In short, they are reducing the manufacturing cost without sacrificing quality. The top part is a softer steel which adds structural integrity. The hard steel core is inserted into a soft split steel. The hard steel does not extend fully to the spine. Therefore, the core material is around 2 cm deep. As long as you don't break or chip the knife, the knife can easily last you more than a decade. The Danja Vegetable Cleaver comes with a 9CR50 MOF core material. And my product sample came with a Rockwell of 58. The most interesting part is how durable the knife core material is. It can withstand some abuse without worrying about brittleness or chipping. However, this knife is not suitable to go through bones. The knife is sharpened at a 20 degree angle per side. This angle gives the knife extra durability and longer edge retention. The core material is also strong, so you don't have to worry about chipping. With a Rockwell of 58, the knife can hold the edge for around 3 to 4 months with regular honing sessions before needing redstone maintenance. The weight is around 310 grams and the knife has no distal spine tapering, which is typical for a Chinese vegetable cleaver. The thickness across the spine is 2.9 mm. The knife handle is made from acrylic, which is water resistant and won't shrink. The handle is very noticeable big and will do great for those with large hand size. While the knife handle will be comfortable for small hand sizes, you will need to get used to the handle size. Pinching the knife at the blade is comfortable because of the curved handle design. The balance point of this knife is at the front. If you pinch grip at the blade or the handle, the knife will be front heavy, which you want for a cleaver style knife. The blade profile is what you expect from a Chinese cleaver. The blade has a gently curved belly. The fit and finish were almost perfect. There are no protrusions and the knife is well made. The only noticeable problem I had is that the spine was a bit sharp and I had to sand it down. Other than that, the fit and finish are great. The Danja Vegetable Cleaver with the 9CR50 MOF core material has my recommendation. Combined with a good heat treatment, they managed to keep the knife sharp and very durable. Keep in mind that the handle ergonomics of the TM9050 are good, but you need to get used to the handle size if you have a small to medium hand size. Danja also offers other knives with the same material but other handles. And for those with smaller hand sizes, you may want to look at the other knives. If you go for the other knives with the same material, keep in mind that the knives are not entirely the same in thickness and weight. That's it for this video. If you have any questions or other opinions, leave them in the comment section below. If I helped you decide, please give this video a thumbs up since that will help the channel a lot. If you want to know more about cooking and knives, please subscribe and hit the bell to get notified. Thank you for watching and I see you in the next video.